It's your girl Leanne, aka Lola, coming to you from Buddhism Butterflies, my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Another review video coming your way, and this is about Wish.com. <laughs> I purchased this backdrop that is behind me on Wish.com and one other backdrop that I'll show you, and I'll give you my thoughts. My thoughts and my thoughts. Um, I posted some pictures on my Instagram. I'll give you. I'll drop a shot right here of that, so you can see the size. I'll drop the shot of the actual reason why I bought it and then we'll compare and contrast. It seems to me that like some of these websites, the price is really good. This backdrop cost me I think $4, $5 plus $2 shipping I think it was. So we're looking at seven bucks. It took, it took a little bit of time to get to me but we're looking at $7 for this backdrop. And, you know, I could get fabric and spend $7 on two yards of fabric and probably have gotten a good backdrop as well. And I wouldn't have to pee for shipping. But I really, uh, once you see the ad, the ad makes me really want it, made me really want it. Because it was so vibrant and so beautiful and so wonderful. And I thought, oh my God. And I love the flowers. I love the softness of it. And I really wanted it to be soft and lovely for me. The pros of that is the price. Um, the pros of it is the image that you're looking for. I wanted a more softer background. I wanted something that I could cover all my stuff. See behind this is all my stuff. And I will show because I have no problem with showing. Um, but the, the cons, the cons of this. This is like a plastic shower curtain fabric. Um, I can't iron it. I can't, again, let me say this so you understand. These creases and wrinkles are going to probably stay in there. I sprayed it twice with wrinkle release, hoping that that would get the wrinkles out. But it's plastic, so I can't put an iron to it. I haven't really tried it. I'm a little bit afraid because it's made like a shower curtain liner. And I thought it was fabric. If it was fabric, you can just iron it real quick and boom, it's done. But I can't, I can't iron it. And look at, you can still see the lines. Ah, I saw the lines. It's just, they're not going away. I sprayed this so much. I folded it the other way. I hung it for a week before I even started recording in front of it. So I don't, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. And I was hoping that I would get a little, like, blurriness in the background if I get away from it. No. You still see the line. I can, like, try to move over to cover the line. Put my head in the line. That's not bad. But that's not what it's about. So I, I actually do uh, photography as well. And I'm getting back into all the videoing, filmmaking, and photography stuff. And I bought it so that I could actually take pictures of people in front of it. Full body shots. It's not big enough to do that. It's not. And that's pretty sad to me that when you buy something, it's just it doesn't come out what it is. So my second one that I bought, and I'm going to try to hold it up for you guys. And you can share the fabric. Sorry if it's really loud in my Rhodes mic. I bought this one hoping that I could use this as a background too. Now here's the thing. I turned this one horizontally so that I could, excuse my light, so that I could use it as a background. Luckily this all over pattern I could do either the long way or the, sh the short way. Perfect. I bought this one which is supposed to be a brick wall. I'm going to put it up real quick. Now on the video, it doesn't look that bad. But the downside is I can't use my lens. I don't, I don't know what midget I could put in front of this because technically if you think about this, let's just like pull this forward. <laughs> this would be the floor part that you'd be standing on. And this would be the brick wall. So let's just see this. This would be the brick wall portion, okay? And this is, the wood floor version portion. I don't. I guess I could put Barbies or something in front of this, or like shoes if I were, you know, going to sell something like that. I don't. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Look, maybe I can. I can film. I can probably photo. I make soaps and body products. I probably could use it for that. You just place them in front of it. So. <laughs> We're at five minutes and 29 seconds. So wish.com. Sneaky, sneaky wish. I'm going to show you the picture so that you can understand why I'm saying that. And I kind of, 
I, I live by this, you know, being faithful before you and just knowing that something good will show up and it'll be perfectly fine. That's how I try to live. But, you know, sometimes the whole old adage of you get what you pay for is a little bit like the truth. So I paid for a $6 backdrop or a $5, a $4 backdrop. Right now they're like $3 on there. If you get an all over one and you get two of them, you, maybe you can glue it together in the center, but then you'll have a center seam to worry about. So then how are you going to use it if you're doing YouTube videos? And I don't have a flat surface that I can like stick it to. I'm using a, a rack to hang it. So I can't really stretch it so that it will get the wrinkles out. But I don't know. I wanted to get my review. I have to be honest, I love this background. I just really wish I could get it to... Uh, I'm going to have to try to iron a part of it and let you guys know. But, you know, I guess it could be like Krakakalon hair. Maybe it's heat safe after like 5% or something. I don't know. <laughs> but my review wish is... I wish maybe I had gotten some fabric. Other than this one, this one's not so bad. Um, it's growing on me. I do like the softness. I can't figure out how to like boku the back. And that's okay that I can't boku the back. My camera is not allowing me to do it. My space in my room is not allowing me to do it. But I do like the background. I like the softness. I like the colors. The colors, that's another thing. It's a con. The colors were supposed to be brighter than this. But that's, I digress. Um, well, will I order from them again? Depends on what I'm ordering. I'm waiting because I'm order I ordered a little light soft box and I'll do a review on that too. We shall see. So that I can take pictures of my soaps and my body products. We shall see. That's you might want to stick to those kinds of things. We should I don't know. But this wasn't a, a complete fail, but it wasn't a complete one hundred. So they're not working with one hundred. Make sure to check the dimensions on um Wish because their dimensions are in centimeter and we're in inches and that will help a lot um, make sure that you understand what it is what kind of fabric look into the descriptions and read the fabrics and make sure you do that because that will tell you exactly what it is that you're purchasing sometimes sometimes they don't they don't describe it they didn't say this was like a poly ni nylon or they didn't say it was like a plastic nylon or they didn't say none of that they just said backdrop and it looks like fabric so and it's not but it has a high resolution quality picture on it. So that implies that it will have some plastic. So I don't know. I'll let you know what happens with the other one. It may go for sale in a yard sale. Anyway, I love you rockers and rockets. Here's my review video of Wish. Um, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, share me with a friend. Make sure to thumbs up if you have something that you wanted to share from Wish and that you feel like it didn't turn out that great. Please share it in the comments below drop me a video so i can watch and remember i love you always remember to laugh often and love always that's the lola way and remember come back for my next video i love you so much thank you rockers and rockets